Welcome guitar aficionados to the upstairs warehouse slash recording studio of Jewett Guitars in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. We're moving into pretty close to winter here, so it's a little chilly up here, which is why I'm dressed for the occasion. Anyways, every now and then we get a guitar in here that just kind of leaves me speechless and you know I'm not just saying that as a luthier but uh, sometimes uh, a really special one comes along and I've got it here for you to show today. Now this is a guitar that I built uh, to uh, or for the North American guitar in Nashville Tennessee and it's going to leave here in a couple of days but I just had to give you an idea of what makes this guitar so special and also what it sounds like. So anyways, without any further ado, here we've got it. This is a double O that's been redesigned. And what I mean by that, I've been uh, redesigning it. I've been working on this for a couple of years now. As most of you know, I absolutely love the double O body. It fits me very comfortably. I'm a kind of a small person. I don't have long arms, whatnot. I have small hands. But the double O is my favorite guitar as far as body and uh, just recording ability and things like that. But after having built a, a number of them, uh, I've gotten some feedback and all, I've also experienced that it sometimes lacks the projection and the power and the punch of a bigger guitar like an OM. So what I did is I redesigned the double O. I took the best features of a Martin double O and a Gibson L double O and I combined mm. them into one. And this is the result. What we've got here is a slightly wider lower bout than a Martin and a Gibson. It has the nice curvy bottom of the Gibson L double O with the pinched in waist, but we left the top flat like a Martin. In addition, what we did, we made it not really a deep body, but a deeper body than a normal OM. It's about three and a half up here at the heel and maybe four and a quarter or uh, slightly more at the tail, which may, basically makes a bigger box. So you get a little bit more volume and a little bit more punch for the money, which you'll see in a sec. Very quickly, I want to go over some of the features that make this just one special guitar. First of all, we nicknamed this lady Swirl because of that bath. Look at that bath, which is East Indian rosewood, and it's nicely or highly figured sides. And what we've done is we've given this a special treatment. Uh, we uh, put a chemical on it to basically kind of get rid of sort of that purpley undertone that you see with a lot of East Indian rosewood. It's a uh, perfectly safe, non-toxic, non-hazardous chemical. And it sort of turned the wood to more of that chocolate brown that you would see with the sister uh, species of East Indian, which is Brazilian. And a lot of people that see this have mistaken it for Brazilian. To complement this wood, we put a really nice Italian spruce, very, very highly um, uh, rated uh, Italian spruce top on this guitar, and it's really giving it some nice punch and sustain, which you'll see in a sec. Very quickly, I'll go over some of the other features. Ebony peg head with my signature cat eye diamond inlay bone saddle or bone nut, ebony fretboard, bone saddle, two and a quarter inch bridge spacing. If I didn't mention it, this is one and three quarters up here. Ebony bridge and we've got a beautiful spalted maple rosette and I duplicated it here on the tail which you can see that nice tail wedge. So enough talk. Let's give this thing a listen. Thank you. 